Well, today is going to be a different one for me. I'm using this thing here, the TX850. It's a clone copy of the Goldbug 2. I believe it's got a Garrett coil on it. It's a knockoff detector, basically. It's off Team U. I want to see how it works. I want to see how it goes, how it deals with things. I'm just going to give it my own field test. I brought it myself. So, you know, and to be honest with you, I'm just going to give it a go. For fun. You know, if I like it, I'm probably going to keep it. Because I've heard good things about this detector anyway. So I'm going to give it a bash. Got 76, 70, 80. It's a bit of a hit and miss. About there. Well, I'd say route, we're just there. Just here. Beyond the button field, so I'm not expecting anything special. Probably is going to be a button or something. Actually, what is that? Something different. Small bit of copper, actually. Hmm. Tiny bit of copper pipe or something. Not too shabby. Oh well, on to the next. Fight 171. Just here. So far, so good. It is finding things. Just 60 again. It is out. Well, good news is it's not coke because there's pinpointers on pickup coke. It's just in the centre. It's probably going to be a button as usual. Shit, I've dropped it. It's something tiny anyway. sake. Where is it? Here we go, this is it. Jesus Christ, that took the piss. I've dropped it again. <laughs> right, what have we got? I'll tell you what, that's a tiny bit of bronze, that is. Got solid 59.60 here. Let's see what this is. Depth three. So I'm guessing the pinpointer does the depth. So when you get to the center, that's how far away from the, the ground it is, I'm saying. So this is saying it's about either three inches or three centimeters, one or the other. Let's have a check anyway. I get the pinpointer on it because it doesn't seem that deep. Which is correct, isn't really that deep. Just that here. So what is this thing then? It's just a bit of scrap, is it? Oh, looks like something else actually. Is that a bullet? Oh. Yeah, looks like an old bad bullet that does, to be honest. Possibly. Bloody heavy anyway, I know it's lead. It certainly is lead. Ooh. Interesting. Got a nice 89, 90. Hmm. 
solid. Alright, so it's at. <laughs> I see one shilling. I see a shilling. <laughs> Oh, finally. Well, goodness me. Wasn't expecting that, but it is just the land you walk over. This was about four inches down, if that. I'll just fill the hole back in now, but. <laughs> kind of. But yeah, 1873. Look at the detail on that. I'm chuffed to bits with that, honestly. I am chuffed to bits with that. <laughs> this is my third sale for this year now. And we're going into four months. Actually, no, five months now, I think. Yeah, five months into the year. And this is my third silver. I don't find many. I think this is my sixth silver altogether. Since doing metal detecting, I started in June last year, and this is my sixth. So these are rare. Very rare. And this is my first ever shilling i've only had two three i've had two three pences and three six pences and now my first shilling so my first 12 pence i think it's a 12 pence yeah it's about time i tell you it is about bloody time it's probably deep buying this is I'm going to dig it. It's going to be deep behind this, surely. It's massive. It's, getting, it's down there. It is down there, certainly. Right. Oh, there we go. We have an iron sound here. That might be it there. Just it here. Right, let's have a look what it is. Is this it here? Nah. That can't be it, surely, is it? Here yeah, it is. Bit of rust. Yeah. Well, that was pretty deep. I know not. It did pick it up, but. You know, that'd fool any detector, to be honest with you. And it was giving me the FE signals, which ideally I should have walked over it. It gave me all the good signals. Well, the bad signals as well, so to say, to say, ignore it, I'm iron. But I didn't ignore it, because I was curious. But yeah, now we know. But I did obviously have a little home test with this and run some things over the coil. I know the 50s, 52 range was the gold ring I found once, but it's also tinfoil range in it, so. But this also could be coke range on this machine. <laughs> so I don't really know, I'm just digging everything. Let's see where it is. All right, time to get my pen pointer down there. I'm guessing it's out. And that not sort of in, out. And there we have it. It's your foil. It's your boy, the good old tin foil. I am starting to get hand ache though, I'm not going to lie with this. It's not the best and comfiest bloody um, handles. I suppose that's what you pay for. Got a nice 80 though, just here, quite on surface. There we go. That's it. A bit of crap. <laughs> it's lined at the side, I thought it was a black rock. Oh well. Fair play if you saw that before me. I'll give it a quick stamp down. 
it's quite hard to really fill the hole back up when it's ploughed all the dirt just crumbles like that but hey -o. Seventy seven, seventy six. Just here. I am very surprised we found any we haven't found any buttons yet. Which is kind of worrying. I wonder if it's like immune to anything else. Over here. 78, 76 and I probably just jinxed myself now saying I probably haven't seen any buttons which is probably a good thing but I've probably got a button here now in fact what is that we have a piece of leather with a stud in it that's what we have that is a le piece of leather a genuine piece of leather with a <laughs> There's something in it, like a stud. And I've just sent it flying. Yeah, it's not the best things, is it? But yeah, you can see it. It's all crusty and manky. Lovely. On to the next. I'll tell you what, though. It might not bring the best finds, but I'll tell you what, it does have a nice view, I suppose. Anyway, this is the other day's dig, or probably two weeks ago. Not too sure, it's from a while ago anyway. I've missed this. A little screamer right next to the hole. Well, there we go, we have this piece of junk. Probably why we missed it. Is it junk? Got that silver tinge to it again. When you rub it off, it's black and it goes silver. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a hundred percent crap. Yeah. Oh well.